because I'm already getting lengthy. It's already a nine minutes, you guys. What have I been doing this whole time? Hey, plant rants. It's Kayla from None Your Plantness. Thanks so much for watching. So I wanted to do a video on a repot that was really interesting and really important to me because I haven't done this in a really long time and I knew it was necessary for a really, really long time. So I kind of been putting it off, but I wanted to do this video because we are gonna talk about my plant rent mistakes. Enjoy this video, you guys. I started my Instagram back in September. I started my plant life back in July. And so I have been learning as I go. I've been learning every day. I learn something new. Um, I am not an expert. I've never claimed to be an expert. I will never claim to be an expert. So for this mixture, um, because I'm going to plant my snake plant first, um, I want to make sure that there's it's mulchy. Um, that it's not super, super porous because I want it to be able to um, work for my snake plant. And I don't mind making a little bit of extra. I've been repotting all day, so I might walk somewhere and find something else I want to repot. Um, but you want to make sure that your soil um, for your sansevieria, because that's the first thing we're going to work on. I'm going to do a mixed pot with these babies right here, and I'll tell you what each of them are when it's time to repot. Um, so what I do is I just take some coffee filter, and I only break it in half because you don't really need the whole coffee filter. You just need it to be able to filter out the water without losing soil at the bottom. So, coffee filter. Terracotta soaks up moisture, so the drainage hole is not as important as making sure the, the, uh, you don't lose soil, because you don't want to lose soil around your roots. Um, but the reason I'm potting this snake plant in this terracotta is to, because terracotta is very porous, so it will soak up any extra water and I tend to lose Sansevieria's to fungus. Why? Because I overwater. So, first plant rent mistake, overwatering. So I would always think that for Sansevieria's, the top of the soil needed to be dry. And I was wrong. For Sansevieria's, you want at least an inch to two inches to be dry. So in this pot, I would want relatively about I would want about this much um, soil. So when I stick my finger in there, about that much soil to be dry before, that much soil to be dry before I water again. Let me show you guys those roots. You see, and I've had this plant for a really good long time, so why hasn't it been root bound? Because my pot had no drainage. So. On to another plant rent mistake, potting in pots with no drainage. You have to have some kind of drainage. And if you don't have any drainage, you gotta know what you're doing. So if you don't know what you're doing, you have to make sure that you have something like a moisture meter that's going to be able to tell you when it's time to water. I would just stick anything in a pot um, no matter what it was um and i would use really crappy soil and the soil that you use for your plants really matter um and that is on to plant rent mistakes number three bad soil i thought that it didn't matter what kind of soil you had as long as you had soil that is so wrong um and i was obviously working under ignorance um, or just, just not knowing. So now that I know, I use, um, Ocean Farm. Oh, let me not say it wrong. 
I use Fox Farm, um, Fox Farm soil and just the regular potting soil that I mix together, um, depending on what I'm repotting. So for this snake plant, I put in about two parts potting soil to one part Fox Farm. Next uh, plant root mistake is that when I potted, or when I repotted, potted a plant, I would not water after I put the soil in. Now this time you have to, um, even if it's just a little bit because my soil right here is already pre-moistened, but even if it's just a little bit, it's just enough to settle it, settle the soil over the plant, um, the plant's roots. So you have to water. Um, afterwards. So the Sansevieria pushing themselves through. So hopefully this repot will help her um, grow a lot more. She has grown significantly. I will say that she was about right here when I first bought her. So she's grown a good amount and she's popping out babies. So I am really, really proud of her. I hope she makes it further. Um, and I hope moving her in this pie is a good decision. <laughs> Not choosing the right pot for the plant. I did that a lot. I, I did that a lot. I would just pot a plant and be like, oh, well, it doesn't matter what kind of pot that, you know, that plant needs. Well, if it's a plant that particularly needs more moisture, uh, in its soil. You want to pot it in something like a ceramic pot or keep it in a nursery pot and water it more often. If you're going to put it in a terracotta pot, you can add some sphagnum moss to your soil to kind of keep it nice and moist. I don't have any water loving babies inside of any terracotta right now, but if I did, I would add some sphagnum moss, which I have over there. Next one, because once again, this video is getting so lengthy. Okay, so first take the stickers off these things. Okay, so this is another terracotta pot and we are gonna put all of these babies in here. So I just, I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit of soil on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soil at the bottom. And these guys are gonna go in here now. Pick this particular size, plant root mistake number five. Four or five. Put it right here. I never really cared what size pot I put it in. I was like, you know what? Just put it in this pot, that's what I have. That's a really bad mistake. So what's going in here? is my Heartleaf Philodendron cutting that was in a picture on Instagram. Um, my, what are these? I think these are, I thought these were Siwa Blue Pothos cuttings, but they're actually not. Apparently they are, um, they are Pothos cuttings. They could be a Kimberly, uh, not a Kimberly Queen, what? They could be a Marble Queen that just hasn't gotten any variegation on it. I'm not really sure. I got it from Cheddar's. Now, most of these are viney plants. So that's why they're in the pot and they all have about the same watering needs. So all of them like their soil to be dry before they're watered. Um, so you wanna make sure that when you're doing a mixed pot, you wanna do a pot that everything, all the plants that you are putting in there have the same needs because then you're just setting yourself to not be able to fully um, enjoy that plant. So you wanna arrange everything in the way that you want it to be. The next one is a Syngonium cutting that is rooted really, really well. She's got some really good roots. So that's going in there. 
You want to arrange everything the way that you want to see them. Okay, here we go. I wanna make sure that this plant is going to be set up for success. So you don't want everything to be too close together. You want everything to have its own place. Now, hopefully this plant will be healthy in the springtime and I fully plan on using her as a giveaway pot, um, a giveaway mixed pot. We're gonna see how she does. Hopefully she does very, very well. And I can use her as a giveaway plant. You wanna press everything down. Make sure everything is in the soil. Don't press down too hard, but don't press down too softly. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna water it anyway, just to be sure that everything um, goes down to the bottom of the container. So here's that mixed plant pot. Ooh, she looks so good. I'm really excited for this pot, you guys. I This is the first time I've personally done a mixed pot. I've purchased some mixed pots and they've come out well, except for when they got overgrown. All right, there we go, you guys. Look how cute. I can't wait to see how this comes out in the spring. Um, what's a plant that you had a hard time with? Do you have any moments where you were just, you were having an amateur moment with the plant and you struggled with that plant? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I know I've done my fair share of mistakes uh, I used fertilizer at the wrong time. I overused fertilizer. I fertilized the plant and burned it. I have given snake plants fungus by putting them in the bathroom with no light and no watering them and not putting anything in a pot with drainage. I've done all of that in just a short amount of time and I've learned so, so much that way. And that is what I will say about this plant journey. If you guys decide to take a plant journey, good luck. You're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. Um, especially if this is your first time ever even dealing with plants in the first place. So just keep in mind and don't be hard on yourself. Plants are here to, to teach you life lessons, okay? They're not here to create any more stress. They're here to alleviate stress and they're here for your enjoyment. So if you decide to take a plant journey, I hope you learned from these mistakes that I've made. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And the, um, mm. Ooh. um, another common plant mistake is this. <laughs> this video is over you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell button right over here in the corner. And let me know what you guys thought about this video. Oh, shoot, I forgot to water her. <laughs>